I've still got the top on. <laughs> Happy holidays, people, and welcome back to our channel. Yes, so my name's Rob, and this is Old Berlin. We're just packing up to go. It's been a gra absolutely great few days here. Where are we? Bramblewood in Whitchurch. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I'll people are struggling. Podium, people yeah. are struggling to get off, as you can see because it's absolutely hammered it down last night and the field is in a right mess. Luckily from us, I used my loaf and I parked it down. So I should be okay, hopefully. I'll move that bin and I'll get down there. But yeah. So what they're doing, I just put a couple of mats, up, mats under, move it, moving forward a couple of foot and then, you know, obviously move the mats back in front of the wheels. But yeah, that's the only problem with fields, people. If in doubt, don't go on them. You are looking very pretty today. In my orange top again. Have you uh, done all your jobs? I'm doing them while you're sat there. Happiness. Happiness. <laughs> well, this is it. This is what? Can I get off? Of course I'll get off. Bloody hell, folks. That's my Rob's tip of the day. Always make sure you're pointing down off a field. Well, everybody's got up. Well, the two vans that have got up, they've got off, but they've actually used the mats, as you saw. Yeah. But we, yeah, we, we had some rain last night. We've just got to drive down there. It was horrendous last night. It woke me up. It's about quarter to five this morning. Didn't wake me up. And if you look on your phone apps, it says no rain. Yeah, it says dry. Dry, sunny, dry. They couldn't forecast my... Oh, I'm not going to say nothing. Right, we'll uh, we'll get off. I haven't got I've got to put my seatbelt on and everything ready to get the back in there. Wouldn't it have been better if you'd have moved that bin? To get a swing? I just want to get my front wheels on the... Uh... Are we front wheel drive? Yes, of course we are, Lynn. Here goes nothing. Oh, Here we go. No problem at all. <laughs> yes. Yeah, miss the bin. What a driver. <sighs> and relax, Lynn. Uh, Happy with that. You are looking pretty. Is that I'm bloody jumper stuck to you? I put it back on because I thought I need a shower. I'm going to wait till I get home to have a shower. There's no point putting clean clothes on a dirty body. Yeah, I need a shower. Mind you saying that, I've always got this... Uh... Yeah, our new clothes. Yeah, we make the most <laughs> of our new clothes, people. We do. It doesn't happen very often. No. Right, OK, we're on our way back. See you in a bit, in a, in a bit maybe tomorrow. No, nah, we'll see you in a bit. So I noticed this on the way up. Yeah, it is an airfield, as I've just said. I don't know if it was military before, but on the way up, I noticed, like, in the trees, loads of, like, abandoned bunkers. I don't know if I'm in the right area, but I've opened the window ready to film. Uh, I've not seen on me. Now bear with me a second. Malcolm Harrison Auctions. I think it's just here. So I'll put the camera on, I can always cut it out. Here you go, The only problem is, can we get into storage today? That's the problem. We normally can't, but we've been told now that we've got security at the storage. Yeah, because the way we keep this, it's a 24-hour man. Yes. So, we, we haven't got any worries about it getting stolen. It's just sometimes on a weekend. We can't get in or out. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, we're going to go there. We're not going to show you storage, obviously. 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 My little fruitcake, my little pineapple, my little crabapple, my little cockroach. And then, if not, we're going to have to take it back to where our static is because they are absolutely lovely and will allow us to leave it there. 
I have pre yeah, but pre warned her just in case. If I have to do that, it's a bit of a mission. It is because uh, I have to go to work in this. To swap the swap vehicles. vehicles over and it just, it's a, you know, it's what a ball like to And it. we have to park it a long way away from the static when the weather's like this. It's all right. Because when we, we can't get on the field. No, obviously, because it's very wet. Um, like you've just seen, you don't go on wet fields. No. In the summer, it's absolutely fine because we can pull outside the back of the static and, or well, the front, and unload it from there. But when we have to do it, I'm waffling, aren't I? No, no, no. Yeah, I, I'm waffling. I'm waffling. If we have Everybody to, loves listening to you. No, they don't. If um, we have to leave it at the static, we have to leave it quite a way away. And then I've only got my little Mazda MX-5 there to unload everything into. So, yeah, it's a few journeys. But it is what it is. So, we will see you back at the static. I'm going to do something tomorrow. I'm going to attempt to make some bread. So, I might let so show you. I'm not... I mean, it's not a cooking one, it's just, I've been gifted an amazing Dutch oven by one of our lovely ladies. I can't understand why you want to make a loaf of bread. I mean, just pop up the shop and get one for Because pain. our bread, as everybody knows, is full of rubbish. Yeah, we've had this conversation actually, we've decided to go on to brown bread. Yeah, well I'm cooking white bread tomorrow, but it's going to be homemade white bread. Uh, but yeah, we are going to swap to brown. Yeah, we I think know. Oh, sorry, I was just going to say, I think the older you're getting, you do start to think about your health a bit more and... Hang on though, is brown bread more expensive than white bread? I don't know. Well, if it is, we'll stop on white bread. No. Yeah, when, you, when you're younger, you do take your health and everything for granted, but as you get older, you start to think, well, maybe it's too late, I don't know. Anyway, that's the plan. Yeah, but we do know loads of people who have... Uh, turn the fan on. We do know loads of people who've stopped stopped eating white bread and I've lost loads of weight, so I'm hoping it'll work on a to put. The one thing also, I'm, <laughs> I'm waffling, shut up rubbish. I've got to swap arms. Um, somebody, one of our friends gave Robert, because he suffers with arthritis in his hands due to his job, some turmeric tablets. And they're not just the ones, the rubbishy ones that you can buy from Holland and Barrett. These are like extra strength. And we both took them for a couple of weeks. Excuse the noise. Um, and we thought, is it psychological or actually are we feeling better? Because when I get up in, out of bed in the morning, my legs, my hips, everything aches. You haven't got no it's, legs? It's age. Shut up, Robert. How many times am I going to say that? Um, and then we ran out of those, so I bought some more. And I honestly think... They're making a massive difference, aren't they? I think so, though. Turmeric and black pepper is supposed to be brilliant for you anyway. It's, it helps with lots of things. But I will show you these tablets later, tomorrow. till tomorrow, or the next day. Um, because we really, really think they've, they're helping with all our aches and pains. We do, don't we? Seriously. Yes, we yes, my love. Yes, they are, I'll, uh, my little peckle. They're not cheap. But oh, a little tango woman. Anything helps, doesn't it, as you're getting older. Right, I'm going to stop waffling there because we are nearly back at storage. Happy holidays, folks. Happy bloody We God. did it. The storage was open. And it's, we've actually found out that now we can get in on a Sunday up until 4pm. Which is going to help us out massively. It really is because we've, we've rushed back this morning thinking if we can get on, it's only going to be early this morning. But, yeah, we did it. We did it. Happy with that, folks? Happy. Shut up, Robert. Don't even say it. Stuck in traffic again, folks. <laughs> yeah, more roadworks. Just the norm. No, more roadworks. Nothing new there, is there? Oh, well, we're back. It's the next day. Um, I actually got a day off from babysitting today, so I have cleaned and washed and scrubbed, and I've been repotting my plants, and I've just noticed. Have you ever seen any one of, the, one of these, anybody? Apparently, it's called a quill. And these flowers, come on, it's... Well, when I, when I, my daughter gave but one of the plants that my daughter gave me for my Mother's Day was this one. And it's got two two flowers on and they died by the time I got up the next morning. And then another two have come on and then these two came on. So, yeah, happy with that. Apparently, though, the quill only lasts four months. And then, I don't know. But it's an air plant, so I've got to be careful not to overwater it. Oh, what a peaceful day. Robert's at work. A little bit of heaven. I was going to do a load of cooking, um, but got up this morning and I heard a massive 
and it was a massive explosion and the electric had gone off so I had to sit down and do nothing for a bit so that has put me behind yeah I really did I had to sit down chill out have a coffee have some shortbread and do absolutely nothing uh, I think it's a bit too late now I wanted to make the bread so I will do that uh, later or tomorrow maybe I want to show you it because yeah, it's supposed to be really good, this recipe and the Dutch oven. So, yeah, no doubt he'll be back fairly soon. Time flies when you're having fun. Not. Happy holidays, folks. I'm back from work. Yes. What have you been doing all day? I can't see you've done anything at all. Well, you walked in here today and you said, wow, this looks really tidy because we came back and dumped everything. And then he's come back in and dumped loads of stuff everywhere. I hate work, folks. I don't know about you a lot. It's harder work being here. So don't do daft. What do you mean, eh? Hey? I haven't stopped since you left here at half past five this morning. Except when the electric went out, I did tell them. I've come back that. from work, I've had a shower. I've uh, put an e-bike partly together, which I've got to review. And I helped. I have been up the bin God knows how many times. No, you're just going away. And then tomorrow I have got to cut the grass. When I come back from work, get the washing in. Yeah, all the washing, washing's done. All going to be just ironing now. Yeah, turn it round because you just saw your bra. That's why I'm trying to cover it. <laughs> yeah, so tomorrow's job when I get back from work is cut the grass. Well, you can't do it. Oh, you can because I've only got Ali till half twelve because otherwise you're not allowed to cut the grass till she's awake. It'll be cut in the morning, okay? Happy with that. I've also got to trim all that down because Lynn's moaning it's getting too high, that red robin, which I planted and nurtured from a little shoot, which I'm happy about. Put another one down there as well, look, because I want to fill that gap. And I've got the robot out on the solar panel. That's been out all day charging. I don't know how much it's got in there, actually. Oh, it's gone up to 80%. So... We can go and see when the sun's out, the solar panel's out, always. And I tidied all the table up. It looked lovely. All as I got on here is my peace lily that I'm put, I've put in water. I've washed all the roots off. I don't know if you've seen it on a previous vlog. And I've put it in water. But the, the vase is a bit tall, but I'm hoping. I mean, it's been in the water now for two weeks. Yeah, what well, you need some more rocks in there and that'll yeah, bring them up. Yeah. yeah. But all these saw me bite bits will be gone tomorrow. They'd better be. They'd better be because I'm fed up with the. And that is the Dutch oven I was on about. Off the lovely Vivian Banks. Yes. It's clay inside. It's absolutely beautiful. And I was going to use that today, but I had a power cut. So I've got so late. Hopefully, I'm going to try and get some done on Thursday when I haven't got Ali. Or tomorrow afternoon. And obviously, homemade bread, as I said earlier, is a lot better for you than all the pre-made pre stuff that you buy in the shops that are full of additives and preservatives and That's it. everything else. That's it? France on it? It does. It's made by Emile Henry from France. Who's him? Never heard of him. Oh, you're not a chef, are you? Well, I don't claim to be, but I've never heard of him. I've heard of John Henry. Who's John Henry? Football player. Do you on? I don't know. So what are you going to do now? Probably sit down and have a cup of coffee. Stuff the coffee. Get me a drink going. What time is it? Four o'clock. Oh, yes, definitely. And I am knackered dead on my feet. Come on, crack on. I'm cracking. Oh, enough. Um, going We're just having five minutes for people because we are knackered. Going back to what we were talking about in the bus on the way back the other day. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Enough. Round and round. These are the tablets that we take. They are autoimmune. It's only turmeric. It's, well, it's, they're Autoimmune Institute Advanced Turmeric, turmeric capsules with bioperine. There's 120 capsules in here. There's 500 milligrams of turmeric. This is in a review, by the way. No, it's, it's not. We just, yeah, we just bought them. It's got turmeric, bioperine and vitamin C. They are 
18 pounds for 120 capsules we take two each a day when we bought this one we had a special offer come through straight away to buy another two can't remember exactly how much they were but no, because it's rubbish. So we're not reviewing them. We just think they they've really helped our for us. Course. For us, they are working. Yeah. No, we're not aching nowhere near as much, are we? And no, we've been, I feel very. Uh, I'd say we've been taking them for about a month now. Virile. Shut up, Robert! You blithering idiot. We've been taking them for about a month now, haven't we? Well, two yeah. weeks of these and two weeks of the others. Yeah, yeah. about a month. And yeah, yeah I mean, it's worth you know if you suffer from aches and pains and. Uh, it's worth giving a try. Yeah. I mean. £18, that would have lasted you two months for one person, but we both take two a day. Yeah. It says on here you can take between two and four a day. We take two. The only thing, adverse thing with them is the skin on the tablets must be really thin because you can yeah, you really, swallow them quick. really taste the turmeric. Yeah. I mean, they're not small either. They look more like suppositories. <laughs> Those are the... Oh, the, the smell. Look. I love the smell. Turmeric, yeah. Turmeric, yeah. Yeah. Been a oh man. So yeah, that's uh I haven't managed to do my bread. I'm gutted about that and I I'm gonna try. You look so tired today. I am. Why? Because some blithering idiot got me up at half past four this morning to do sandwiches. Quarter to four, I was up like a lock. Well that's I need my sleep and you should just leave me be. I do. He tells me when I've got to go to bed. Come on, we've got to go to bed now, because I've got to get up early. Then he tells me when I've got to get up. Oh, and I'm tired. I must admit, people, when I eat the pill, I'm out like a light. I turn the TV off. Yeah, because you always watch uh, a romantic film or in bed. No, we put the TV on, probably watch ten minutes of it, and that's it. Why well, time putting it on, really? It is. And then by the time I've literally turned it off, he's snoring his head off. And then I have to try and get to sleep. Oh, I don't... Listening to him snoring. You're the snorer, not me. I'm gonna, I am going to tape record you. Tape record? I'm going to record you. No, seriously, you do snore bad. No, I don't. I'm going to put a peg on your nose and you go to bed. I'm going to put a bag over your head. <laughs> yeah. Right, so that's it for today. No, we've got plans. Yeah, well, that's for, for today, so we'll pick you up tomorrow. Where are we going the weekend? I haven't got a clue. We've been trying to get on to Conkers. But... Yes, this vlog will be going on Thursday, people, so if anybody knows... Somewhere we can go. Somewhere we can go for the weekend. Not too far. Not too far from well, Starport or so. where we, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it'd be much appreciated, so, you know, because uh, a lot of places are fully booked now, aren't they? Shut up, Robert. We'll find somewhere. They are, mate. Yes, they are, but, yeah. yeah. So if you've got a big drive, people, and you want me on your drive, just let me know. You don't want him on your drive. He'd wake you up with his snoring. Anyway, we'll see you in the morning. In the morning? Yes. Why? Oh, film some more tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yes, I'm folks. Good. Hang on. Sit down. We're going to... Uh, no, we're not. We're going to have a Chinese meal tonight, aren't we? Yeah. I need a weapon. Get off. I will. Don't tickle. Uh, I'm back in a minute. Get off, man. <laughs> <sighs> Hello everybody again, um, I'm going to be finishing the video off on my own because Robert's at work and I'm going to have a go at making the bread. I'm not going to go all through the steps of it, I will show you the end product when it's eventually done um, and then I'm going to make a curry. We're off uh, this weekend, we're going to Conkers on a rally which looks brilliant, brilliant. Uh, we've got full, uh, fully, I think it's a fully serviced pitch or it's a hard standing pitch with electric and it's £20 per night, so bargain at that. Just let Mavis in, hang on. I'll, I'll be back. Oh, I, I seem to spend my days letting the dogs in, out, in, out, and then he comes back and pieces shattered. So yeah, I'm gonna get on with this bread, see how I get on. I've only ever made bread in a bread maker. Um, I'm gonna use my KitchenAid. So yeah, I'll, uh, I've just washed up, tidied up, had a shower, got ready. And it is only nine o'clock in the morning. Happy with that. So he tells lies. Right. The only thing I am gutted about is I can't use uh, one of my air fryers to put the bread in because the 
a Dutch oven that I'm going to use is actually too big. So I'm going to have to empty the cooker of all the foil and all that stuff that I use because I just use it as a cupboard and actually use the oven. First time for, for everything, eh? Well, I don't think I've got off to a good start because I'm not sure if the first process when you mix it is supposed to be watery like that. I thought it would form a dough. But I'm going to cover it, try it for 25 minutes, because what it is, I'm using an American recipe. She's, uh, she's from America and it's cups. They use cups. Well, I've trans translated that using Alexa into whatever I need, but I don't think Alexa's got it right. So I'm going to leave that for 25 minutes, covered, come back to it. In the meantime, I'm going to make a curry. And he says, I never do anything. No rest for me at all. Just been up the bin. Miserable day. Well, it's not miserable, it's just grey. But I've got to, I want to prepare food for when we go away and get all my jobs done because I like to come back after a weekend and have nothing to do. And hopefully my daughter's coming Monday, so it'd be nice just to spend the day with her and do not, not a lot. Well, that's a fail. So I'm going to have to throw all that away, wash it up and start again. I don't know what I've done wrong. But I'm doing the onion, just blitzed all the onions for the curry. I don't know what I've done wrong. I've checked with Alexa all the amounts and I'm right, but I'm wrong. What a day, I'm hot and sweaty. I need to open a window. Right, start again. Right, this is take two. That looks more like dough. So I've got to leave it in there now for 25 minutes. I've just set an Alexa thing. I'll cover that over. I'm getting in a right mess. Right, so I'll continue to do the curry. I hope I'm not boring you. This is my day-to-day -day life. Cooking, cleaning, and I've yet to do the ironing. Right, I'm not doing too bad. I've got to just mix that for 20 minutes. So that's doing. Curry's cooking. I need to turn that up. So, yeah. Second attempt seems okay. Right, I don't know what else to say at the moment, so I'll turn the camera off and I'll uh, pick you up back in a bit. Does that make sense? Right, I've made, well, I've prepared it. So that is the Dutch oven, Emile Henry of France. I think we showed you that before. So I'll take the lid off. Now, in the recipe that the lady sent me, she didn't say to prove it for an hour, but in a lot of the recipes they do, so. I've put it in and I'm going to leave it in there for an hour, then I'm going to bake it. So hopefully it'll get bigger. Hopefully I've done it right. So I've all tidied all up. Yeah, and like I said earlier, we uh, we have managed to get onto Conkers this weekend. There was a waiting list and luckily somebody's cancelled, so we are on there. Curry's done. Just need to put the coriander in and the lady who won the bike is actually coming up later to come and collect the bike. So that's be gone and got rid of thank goodness so yeah i really hope she's happy with the bike and uh, we are so looking forward to conkers so i'll finish this by putting uh, a picture of the bread when it's baked etc if it worked well whatever however it comes out i will show you um yeah so that'll be the last oh of my god look at that look at that for a loaf of bread how good am i <laughs> i'm so impressed Oh, no, the hard thing is I've got to get it out and I can't cut it until it's full. I am so impressed with that. So there we have the finished product. I really am. I can't wait for it to cool down and to cut a slice. So stay safe for the caravanners, campers. Can't do it. So, stay safe for the caravanners, motor, homers, tenters, drifters, subscribers, old and new. We still love you. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. In a bit. <laughs>